All right. Hello. Let me check my sound settings real quick before I explain myself. Okay. Hello. This is a new game. Potion craft. Uh, I, I saw... I saw Ice Cream Sandwich. He's like a YouTuber animator, and he he was, he made a sports video. How he doesn't like sports, and he's bad at them. I mean, he likes sports, and he enjoys watching them, I guess, but... Or maybe he doesn't. I don't remember. Go see the video. <laughs> but for, for a couple seconds, I saw this game, and I kind of fell in love with the style of how it looked immediately. I was, um, I, like, right away, I was like, what is this game? And then I found it. Um, I haven't seen many other people play it, so I thought I should and show you guys this game, because I think it's pretty charming. It's a demo right now. That, that See, that's why it says about full version. It's coming later, probably this year. But I, I think it's going to be great. Got Discord, Reddit, all the normal ones, Facebook. If you're in your 30s, already got on my wish list. I, I might record more videos when the full version is out. I just played it last night and got to day six, so I was just played a little bit on my own. So I'm not gonna be completely blind in this one either. No way to skip the tutorial, I guess. But that's okay, because I was going to read this part anyway. You're a novice alchemist wandering in the world uh, in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. Abandoned house. You found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Judging by the alchemy equipment in, and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Apparently, a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggests that it has been empty for a long time. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start a new life in a town. New town. Alright, um... Well, gee, I guess I can't skip the tutorial. Is there a way? No? No tutorial skip? Okay, well. Um. Well, I want to breeze on by this anyway. So you have your, uh. Your ingredients over here. The. I'll, I'll read the description of each of these. There's. Uh. Terrari terraria? The game? Probably not. Terraria is one of the most famous alchemy ingredients. It's got its name for its magical properties best revealed in Earth Element recipes. We're going to put two of you in here and look at the map. we got a big old squiggle line going downward like that. This is, this is what the ingredients do. The ingredients, like, take you places on the map. Water Bloom. It seems to have something to do with water. Hupluk. Bonk. Okay, it's not too slow. I think I can still record this. Once you got all your things in the pot, you get to stir in. Oh, sorry. Cauldron. This is a potion, not a cook print, cooking recipe. And then you go through the map. And we find ourselves right here. Heating. Now, when you heat the potion, this kind of cooks it, but this is what finishes the potion. And we've just discovered a weak potion of healing. To finish the potion, just click finish potion over here. Grinding ingredients. So, we had to use two terraria to... We had to use two terraria for that recipe, but if... We want to use just one and save materials. We have to grind them up. And look at the X on the map. It goes further now. There we go. And then this will count as two area. Same with this water bloom. Mash, 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 mash. Potato, potato, potatoes. Mashed parrots and greens. Boink. 
Ooh. Ow. Uh, yes. And then get a mix and mix and mix in. Stir, 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 stir faster. Do I gotta go slower? Does slower mean faster? I've barely played this game again. Like, I know the gist of it, and I've made a couple complex potions. I know how to play the game, but I don't know how to play the game good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Saving a potion recipe. So, we've made this with one terraria and one water bloom. We can then save this recipe, and it'll go up into this book that I cannot click on. Moving between rooms. So we got a few rooms up, left, down, right. Our customers are to our left. We can use the arrow key over here, or I can press WASD and make it faster. Offering potions. Uh, so if you dangle the potion in front of their face, d depending on their expression, they'll, they'll tell you. You want this one? See? And put it here. And he's like, oh, and then, you know, so. Oh, they all got stories too. Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste a thing, and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of my product. My tongue is useless now. Do you have a he healing tincture of some kind? I'll buy this potion, but I won't pay very much. He's saying I won't pay very much because it's a weak healing potion. We gotta find something to make it. Oh no. Oh no, I did the thing. Oh, I did the thing. <laughs> that I that I dreaded I would do. Okay. Let me explain because that probably sounded really weird. Um so my headset has a really really long cable. There's two cables really, and the second cable is bundled up in a rubber band on my desk because of how long it is. It's so long I can walk to the other side of the room with the whole length, but there's a second cable that plugs into this dial. Sometimes this wire hangs underneath my chair and my foot was underneath it, so what happened is I kicked on it and then I unplugged it and now I I need to watch the video back and hope that didn't sound terrible or ear rapey. If not, I might have to uh, call another editor friend. I'm not going to though, I don't want to. We're just gonna roll out, roll with the punches. Um, yes, hi, miss. Sorry about that. Uh, my husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he's gotten even worse. Now he can't even get up. He has a fever and the sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? I'll haggle you for it. Haggle. Haggle. So, haggling means like, you know, haggle on the price. Back in the good old days, they would weigh the things and tell you how much it's worth. <laughs> Imagine this haggling like IRL, like I'm talking to this lady, but in reality, I'm just trying to distract her from how much I'm haggling her. Shake hands! There. Sold that for two extra dollars. Lack of suitable potions. You will often not have ready-made potions for certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the laboratory and make a potion they need. There is no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe the client will not leave. Great. Because I hate how Stardew Valley has a constant ticking clock, so really the best time for me to talk is at the end of the day. Hello, mice have infested my hut, even though I have a cat. The cat just lies on the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever they please. So I need a vital rat vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison those rodents than wait for the stupid cat's help. Luckily, this lady is telling us exactly what we need. And this is telling us we need to go to the Enchanted Garden for our ingredients. So the Enchanted Guardian Garden is kind of like your daily free place to get ingredients. So we just got one free terraria, one free air bell. Uh, slightly hot to the touch, short and sweet. We'll mash this one first since it's a new one. 
Mash, 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 mash. Huh. Huh. Yeah. And... Doesn't do anything. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. This works too. As long as it's mashed. Perfect. And then get to staring. Now we're going left because we used a fire thing. And we're going down because we used an earth thing. And that takes us to... One of you. Hold on now. Okay. I'll tell you... Nah, I'll... I'll... Wait, I'm done. Oh, right, I gotta cook it. <laughs> Whoops. Now, I'll tell you one thing after the tutorial because there's some things they didn't teach me that I wish I knew. Yep. I'm gonna haggle on you. Uh, love you, books. You're so sweet. Can't get enough of your hair. Books, nice weather, more books. How we, we got a deal? Thank you. Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It's located above the laboratory. Go to the bedroom and end of the day. So, doop, and then doop, and here we are. To end the day, click on the bed and confirm you want to end the day. Yes. End of the tutorial. Um, oh yeah, we got this new thing. Excellent, you have refreshed your alchemy, alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. The, the attic next to the bed, you found a few ingredients in a, and a ladle for water. You'll need the ladle to make potions, so set it next to the cauldron in the laboratory. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle, and don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck! Now, they didn't explain one thing about this guy, but this guy's really important. This just dumps water into the cauldron, and it might seem useless at first, but really, this, this guy is gonna be a game changer. Anyway, every new day, we get new stuff in the garden. I don't know if, if you, like, leave things, you will get more ingredients of that thing. So, we'll take what we need. Oh, we already got some people. Alchemist, give me a healing potion. A bandit shot me through the shoulder with an arrow yesterday. The wound isn't serious, but I can't lie around for a whole month. I need to get back to work soon. Okay. Is this what I think it is? Yeah. Green mushroom. Okay. So... You know what, let me just, let me just take everything. It's the first day, why not? Make make beginners mistakes. So, we got, got a lot of a new one here, Wind Bloom. This takes us up. Use it like a fan to cool off. Green Mushroom, they smell just like they look. They smell like green. Brown Mushroom. These mushrooms are quite bitter. They are, they are best used in potions for disobedient children. <laughs> wow. Anyway, look, notice how it goes a little further down than the, ter than the terraria, and it moves in a different way on the map. Things like that is going to matter in a second, because I'm going to teach you something that the game didn't teach me. So, oh yeah, books. Books give you uh, scale points. Your skill is up here, and every time that levels up, you get points. Um... Alchemy visibility radius, the further you go around the map, the more you see around the map. Recipe book one, you get more recipes you can save. Trading one, increases your training skill. Um, and you get better prices. And then haggling. Well, I want better prices, and I want to see more. I like the recipes, though. And you're about to see why. So... We can make this guy a healing potion right now. All we gotta do is click brew this recipe, and you know, it'll, it'll use the exact um, ingredients and everything. But we're not gonna do that yet, because we got ourselves a green mushroom, and this is one of the first recipes that I love to make. And I'm gonna sh see if I can pull this off first. So, what does the water, water part, part, this water thing? 
What does it do? Forgot the name of it already. What it does is it brings this potion to the center. So the more water I pour in, the closer it moves to the center. And you might ask yourself, why the hell would that ever be a thing? Would that even be useful? Well, let me explain. This, the, the water is used to, like, make more fine-tune adjustments, because this is one thing I didn't know when I started playing. The closer this little potion is to the center, the higher the stats are going to be on the potion. Oh, oh, uh, stay away from these. If you see this water completely deplete, you've just lost your whole potion. And I just used a very special and rare mushroom for this just to show you this, so I I would hate to see that. So here's what we're going to do. If we just do this, there. We have a level one. And I just leveled up. I'll get recipes because I'm about to save one right here. So this is a level one. How do we get it closer? Well, I just used a green mushroom, and that's going to take us closer in. Well, how are that going to happen? Because now we're moving away from it, see? Well, watch this. We're going to let go of this, and then I'm going to pour some water. See that arrow? It's a little faded, but when I grab on this... Yeah. And then you can see the potion slowly start to move towards the center. And eventually will have a level 2 potion. We just stir a little more. Come on. There. Level 2. But notice how the potion isn't exactly inside the lines. That's what we're trying to work towards. So I'm going to stir away a little more. Try to get out as much as possible. I was able to do this with just these three ingredients. It's really precise, though. Something tells me I may have messed it up. Oh, I'm nervous. It's really precise. I wish I wish you could zoom in a little more. Because it needs to be exactly in. Oh. Alright. Come on. stir. Not too much though, because then we're going to start moving away. Okay. That's got to be it. We're right in line. Ah, just a little more. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make the perfect healing potion. There. Oh, yes. So you can see now it says the Roman, Roman numeral three. This is the highest I've gotten in any of these potions. And, well, we just finished it. So now we have a level three, a strong healing of potion. If we get weak and then normal, I will just say potion of healing. But now we have a strong potion of healing. Um, before we save this recipe... Oh. I didn't save the recipe. I thought I could decorate it. Crap. Well, that's okay. I knew that one by heart. God damn it. Alright, note to self. When I see that green mushroom again, just remember to make that potion again. But, okay. <laughs> Here's the importance of saving your recipe. If you, if I could have just, um, saved it and not, uh, just finish the recipe like an idiot there, I wouldn't have to do that whole thing again where I'd have to move through the map and then precisely pour water in until it says the number three. We could just click uh, make that recipe and then I would never have to worry about that ever again. But no, I just had to grab it. Good afternoon, we have trouble in our fishes, invasive beetles, taking wheat fields, we need harvest, we need friends, we need poison. Um, now we don't have 
anything that could, well, I could try the brown mushroom, because if you remember, it's left and then, and then down. Let's try that. This game is also about experimenting, just going around and seeing what potions you can make. So far, we've only made two. And then remember, fire. And that takes us just to, just to the left of that potion. So, if we want to make a stronger version, we could try doing that, but it might be safer doing the brown mushroom. Hmm. That'd be really close, but that'd be a guarantee at least a level 2 potion. I'll try it, because I don't want to use another hard-to-find ingredient. Oh, you don't have to do this, by the way. <laughs> you can just throw the fireball in, because... And that X would... Yeah. Oh, no, we'll see. That line is going right over the potion, so... I don't know... If I could pour in a little bit of water, and then it would help. Alright. So here's where it would stop, but we used another ingredient, so... Yeah, and that's definitely not going to be at three because we can't we can't push the potion in. So, cooking it here. Potion of poisoning, just a normal one. Um, I guess we'll save this recipe. Can I can I decorate you though? Hmm. All right, so you have to decorate it there. I just wanted to sell it right away so I wouldn't make the same mistake. Lady, weather, lady. How are ya? Lady, weather, book, beer. But what about the other way around? Beer, book, book, lady, weather, book. Nice. Thank you. Looks like he's about to go to bed with that hat. I had some strange soup for lunch today, and now I don't feel so good. Oof, do you have anything for a troubled gut? Ugh, no more gastronomic adventures. I would assume a healing potion. So, like I said, go right here. Weak healing a po weak potion of healing. Through this recipe. And there. Don't even need to think. Ding. And he loves it. I'm gonna haggle for it. Beer. 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 Clouds, lady, book. Thank you. I'm not gonna haggle that much for you. It's not that impressive of a potion. Oh, hello. Hi, are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them. Wait to. Oh, no. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. Show me your good. Wait. Do you sell anything else besides herbs? I only sell what I know about flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruit. You can buy other things from other merchants. So there will be other merchants in the future. So there's kind of this market going on. Of course, red means bad and good green means good. These prices are low and we buying these would be a smart idea. These are up and these are $65 a piece. So that wouldn't be a good idea. However, this is a tangleweed, wet and slippery. Something we have not seen yet. But nah. I'm going to mostly buy the two defaults here because, well, they're real cheap, and we'll, if we sell them, we would be selling them at a loss, too. We, you can sell ingredients yourself over here, but it's really not worth it, from what I've seen. Mm, wow, I got a quite a bit of money. I could just buy a ton of these. Nine, and then... Four, eight, six more. Two, two. And then we can haggle with this price. So instead of pay paying uh, 113, we can pay weather book. You look good, book. Book. Hey. No, I missed it. I clicked. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
This is much harder now because we're talking about a lot of money. There we go. See how, see how much of a difference that is? Thank you. And dialogue. Now we got a ton of ingredients. A strong and fast acting potion. I appreciate it if you saved your questions and keep our deal a little secret. Your silence will be generally rewarded, of course. You're weird. Uh, oh, more missions. Go to the basement now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Some of these are kind of easy to finish that task. Dang. Here's a basement. This isn't even available yet. So, yeah. Maybe we'll see that in the future. But it's mainly the top, the three upstairs rooms. Anyway, there's that mission. And we got a new point. So let's do haggling, since I love that so much. Now that poison potion. Hmm. Uh, well, let's make you a good potion. A good poison potion. And imagine, remember to keep track of your ingredients. We definitely have a lot of terraria, but we do not have a lot of these fire bells. Yeah, fire bells. So, oh, and it can also tell you how many you can make. I have 14 fire bells, so I can make seven of these. Do you want a nice potion of poisoning? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Drink it. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, you like it. See how much you like it. Oh, and if you miss this, then you lose out on a lot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He likes the poison potion. Sell. Hell yeah. Hello. I was summoned to deal with an ice elemental tormenting a mountain village. An, ordi an ordinary sword is useless against the elementals, but if you can give me a fire potion, I'll coat my blade with it and take that elemental down to offer a potion. Alright. Well, fire. Because now we have, like, now we have a new potion to find. Can't just be all heals and... Heals and feels. Heals and poisoning. I don't know why I said that. Uh, mash, 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 mash. Mash those taters. No more. Alright. This is taking us into uncharted territory, so I'm gonna start stirring now. You can add more stuff into the cauldron, cauldron later on, by the way. You don't have to add it all in right now. So where does this take us? Watch those skull. Okay. Uh-huh. New potion. So we're going to use a fire bell. Try to get as close to the middle of that potion. Again, you could probably, like, time how much you mash it. And then, like, drop the X in the middle. But I'm not going to do that. Come on. No. No level two for this one, but I am going to get a couple of those books. Oh! Which gives us new recipes. And we're going to cook this one right here. And I'm going to not screw this up. Okay. Yes! So here you can decorate your potion. I have not played with this because they kind of change, change it on their own. Like you noticed for some of the other potions. But you could change the color of the potion's logo. Like, how sick is that? And even the logo of it, so we can make it like a fire defense or something. I have not missed with the. I have not messed with this game enough, but I do recognize a few of these symbols, and I think some of these might be other potions later on, so I haven't played with it yet. But yeah, you can also set a description for it. Weak potion of fire. Um. Yeah, it's it's fire, all right. Fire in a bottle. 
all right. <laughs> Imagine reading the like the nutrition facts on this, and this is what you read. <laughs> there you go. Haggle, because this is a new potion for you. And since it's brand new, I'm gonna do the brand new special tax where I put my hand on the scale and make it way more so that you owe me more. What a coincidence! I command command sent me to fight an elemental too, but this one's a fire elemental. He got he's gotten into the habit of strolling through the wheat fields lately and starting fires. Do you have anything that can cool him down? Okay, well, we heard on Windbloom, use it like the fan to cool off, and we have not explored the top area, so we're gonna do this. And I'm not confident on this, like, frost potion, so we're just gonna throw this one down and then see where it takes us. I've already been recording for half an hour. Jesus. This is definitely a game I would probably need a L editor editing for. Wow. Okay. So, we got a bunch of skulls in front, and like I said, the water would drain. So, what we're going to do is this. This is going to be pretty interesting, but what we're going to do is use a water bloom to go this way. Throw that in. Then we're going to use another frost to go this way. And then we're going to use a fire bell. What's this called again? A wind bloom. A fire bell to go that way. And see where this takes us. I hope that X is not too close. And if it is, I'm probably going to have to throw something else and then stir real fast. Oh, well, there's another potion we could have made. And I know exactly what that is. Aha! Uh -huh, there's another potion right on target. And this one will take us right to it. And since you can see where this would end, would take us right above the potion. Alright, I gotta do this fast. I'm going to try to stir this fast enough to where this won't drain. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Here we go. Go all the way up. All right. Uh, real quick. Take that. And then look in here. Okay. Use the water. Water, 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 water. Okay. Slow it down. Slow it down now. Real slow. Real fine. Come on. Okay. Real slow. Come on. Yep. Yes. Cook it up. And that is a strong potion of lightning. Uh, save this recipe. That's not what we needed. <laughs> and now I think about it. I think I remember exactly where it is. Whoops. Hold up. Yeah, I know where it is. Damn it. Okay. Need one of you. Grind it up. Boom. Dang. And then we're going to do two of you. If you can't tell from the dotted line, I'm going to that one to the right. I think that might be the frost potion. Again, I, I just played this yesterday, so I'm not a pro. Nor do I remember everything. I am going to end this episode soon, so if you want to know... Actually, no, nah, this isn't a guide or anything, so I'm going to keep you spoiler-free, but I do know what the other two potions are to the top left and top right. I don't know what, it, what the other one is on the bottom, because those pa that patch of skulls and crossbones are 
a lot bigger, so I, I, I couldn't get farther in there and tell what's in there. But if you can look right there, you have a new potion to get. Ooh, but look at that. If we use the whole wind bloom, it'll take us way away from it. So what do we do? We don't even mash it up. We throw the whole damn thing in there. For safety. And then stir. And boom. Like I said, like, we could use water and we can use other maneuvers to try and get as close to the middle as possible, but we can't. So we're not. And as long as it's inside that border, the potion will be a potion. There we go. We're going to save this recipe too, because it took us a while to get there. But unfortunately, it's going to be a weak one, so he's not going to want it very well. So we definitely need to haggle if we want to get our money's worth back. Oh, no. 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to slap you like that. I, was, I just wanted to feel your face. Your face looks beautiful. I wanted to feel it with my hand very hardly. There you go. And there's the end of the day. Made some potions. We got frost, lightning, a strong potion of lightning. But it does take a good amount of resources. But if we can find different ingredients and find them more commonly, we can make a better potions. Get some books, level up a skill, we'll do haggling again. And then that'll be the end of the day, which will end that quest. Ding. And then, since it's already been uh, over a half hour, I'm going to finish it here. I didn't think that would have eaten up that much time, though. Uh, sorry if I, uh, if <laughs> me pulling out my mic caused some problems with your mic, with your uh, speakers. I hope it doesn't. But I'm going to upload this anyway because I, I, I don't want to bother anyone again. Before I leave though, we're going to harvest this one thing and read up on it. Red mushroom. Thick and hot. Sometimes added to food for touch of spice. This is something else you want to pay attention to. The fire bell is one of the starter ones and it takes us that far, but this uh, red mushroom almost takes us twice the way. So, if we wanted to make a fire potion with this, it would take less fire bell and get us even closer. Maybe even have a better chance of making a stronger potion because it, it moves a little differently too. But yeah, that's as much as what I've learned about this game. I've only played it very briefly, but um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Gonna save the game. I'm going to save it into slot two because I already used one. Yeah, I'm at it here. Oh, if I hit quit and hit yes, you can see this. So here's the demo. There's going to be a lot more in the game, as you can see. So everything that I'm learning right now will mean absolutely nothing. But look at all this, like the alchemy machine that we saw briefly. There's going to be a calendar, alternative potion bases... Garden upgrade. Like, look at all this. This game. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Um, so please show your support. They got all of these, including a Reddit and a Discord. Look at all that. I'm not going to go to any of them right now, but this demo is for free, by the way. You can go ahead and play it. And play around. I, I think it's a great game. Um, if you want to see more videos on this, let me know. I'm going to go record another game that isn't Stardew Valley, or hopefully, because I want to see if it can record, but you'll see. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!